What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Kiso back once again with another video talking about how to take care of your hair in this humidity, all this humid weather, this summertime weather. We won't get it started. So, be an in and out video of me consistently brushing it, consistently talking about how to take care of your hair when it is humid. Because, as you can see right now, my hair is I'm about halfway through my session and my hair is still puffy. Now, my hair was a lot more puffy than this before, and I have been brushing. But it's a lot more things that you can do to make sure that your hair stays laid down, right? We're finna get to that. All right, so number one, right? Drink your water. Make sure you're drinking water because water is the first step to any schedule. I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all need to drink your water if y'all want their hair to be healthy. If you want your hair to listen to what you do, you gotta feed your hair the right things. Number dos, follow a hair or a brushing schedule, right? Follow a brushing schedule. Y'all need a brushing schedule. If you're gonna wash one time a week, wash on that day and make sure you always wash on that day if you wash every sunday make sure you wash every sunday if you wash every saturday make sure you wash every saturday if you moisturize every sunday make sure you moisturize every sunday right make sure you're getting at least one hour sessions in every day y'all do not set a schedule of 30 minute brushing per day no it needs to be at least one hour minimum per day all you gotta do is brush your hair for an hour vibe out talk to somebody for a little bit and rag up, right? Another thing, right? This is gonna go on to number three. Number three is to make sure you have double compression. I'm tired of seeing people walk out the house and they only got one do-rag on. And then they wanna figure out why their hair not laid down. You need to double compress if you want your hair to lay down while you're woofing. Now that's just me, cause I got coarse hair. So I'ma speak for the coarse hair waivers. But you might have some people out there that's meeting him hair straight here that's gonna completely disagree with what I'm saying. Hey, whatever works for you, but I do know when the wolf get that bad, you need a double compress. Everybody get that point to where they need a double compress. So if you're not at that point yet, all right, all right. Four. All right, so the next thing I tell you is make sure you have a good set of brushes that you are using when you're brushing, right? So whenever I brush, I always have these three brushes that I started with that I know are going to be for sure my go-to if I don't feel like brushing, if I don't know if I want to brush with another brush. If you're ever questioning a brush, whether or not you want to brush with it, nine times out of ten, the answer is no. My bad, Joe, my video had cut out and I didn't have enough time to actually finish the video. So it's the next day, but I'm about to finish the video for y'all. So I remember last one going was number four. So number five, pay attention to how you treat your body, right? For example, right? Every time I will brush my hair, I will work out afterwards. Now, the reason why I work out after I brush my hair is because once my hair is laid down, all of that sweat and those things, Actually, my rag is going to silk compress my hair down more because of that. So whenever you're moving around and you're hot, always have a do-rag on so that your hair can stay laid down. Because when you take it off, it's as soon as your hair is going to get puffy. Make sure you're brushing with a hard, medium, and a soft brush. That's how you lay down your hair all the way. If you want to get even lower, that's when you go in between. Get those different brushes like the firms, the medium softs, you know, the brushes like that. Those brushes are really what's going to take 
your hair when it's humid and it's really going to lay it all down and bring it back to normal. Right. Number seven, cool yourself off. Cool yourself off, y'all. Cool yourself off is really all you gotta do. You feel me? I got this from Amazon, right? And it says at a temperature of 30 degrees, right? You put it around your neck and it actually keeps you cool. You could put it, I had a whole hoodie on yesterday in the summertime and I was perfectly fine all because I had this on, right? So I really want y'all to actually take that into consideration, understand that little things like that will help just because you know, you're cool, right? When you're a human, that means your body is hot and it's moist. All of those things can mess up your hair depending on your hair type because I know for me, it messed up my hair, right? Whenever it's human, it messes up my hair and I absolutely hate it. I hate having to comb my hair, then hard brush, then medium brush, all because it was human, right? I already got my session in for the day. I'm trying to chill, right? So those are some things that you can use when it's human outside and you really want to, you know, take your hair to the next level, right? There are gonna be a couple of different things, but I'm thinking about doing a part two to this video. So let me know if I should do a part two to this video and I'm gonna see y'all later at the top Right, feel my